Hey everyone, this is Deadpool Negative. I'm just uh, back. I got some books, a uh, book I want to talk about. Um, sorry it's been so long. I'm just trying to figure out the best quality ish, I should say. But uh, it's a good time as any to talk about Transformers number five from writer artist Daniel Johnson, John Daniel War, excuse me, Daniel Warren Johnson, um, from you know Skybound and the Energon universe is continuing apace. And here, like, this, there's a shift um, in this issue slightly. Um, this is, again, some of the strongest Transformers comics I've ever read. And believe it or not, for what they are, there have been a lot of good Transformers comics. And a lot of them were published by IDW, though nobody wants to admit that these days. Um, but Johnson is really just... He's really taken off like a rocket here. There's just... His manga, I mean, he's always been a fantastic artist. I highly recommend Do a Power Bomb, The Ghost Fleet. And, um, oh, I just, I'm blanking on some of his other stuff, but it's just, like, I, give me this, this great example here. Like, like here we have, uh, Starscream. He comes in and he, he's mad, so he just, Hunts um, Ravage. Now, it's just, it's just I, I love that you, like, Johnson is one of those artists who can get get away with use sound effects like this. I mean, just like, there's so much, I mean, uh, there's something I want to, there's a scene, it involves a spoiler I don't want to give away, but it just has the words heavy metal displayed on the screen, on the, on the panel, and it's just, <laughs> just really... But anyway, there's, at first, there, I mean, I should say there's a shift. There's a shift of introspection between uh, this 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 version of Spark Bob. I think, and in addition to um, Bumblebee being taken out of the equation, Spike has been pretty much been taken out of the equation. He's uh not he's uh, incapacitated, and Spark Plug and Carly are the char are the human characters we're following. There's also uh, there's also a return of uh, RC. RC is back in this issue. Which is interesting. I just, but what just really struck me of this is this really. Uh, I should say this issue is mostly action except for the opening sequence. But there's a lot that uh, Johnson set up here. Like he sets up that like the the, the something that you never we never really see in con these comics. Like uh, Wheeljack builds builds a reactor to uh, uh, draw some power and to makes to draw some power. Um, to power up the town, you know, and the like, the, and uh, he just says, "Oh, we can we can power this town for at least a decade." And Sparkle's like, "What? Like, what if uh, the the Autobots actually brought their technology to, to help? I mean, they they basically build a reactor to help resurrect RC, but they also build something that could actually fix things. Like, and that's something that uh, people don't normally uh, talk about is." Uh, something normal you don't know like what if the transformers the what app i mean when they talk about the way the autobots war affects the humans it's more like how many building it explodes how many people die and that's in this comic but there's also like well what if this happens there's also a hilarious scene where um another classic uh decepticon character close up and <laughs> optimus prime just to disintegrate some of the megatron's arm cannon and oh, oh by the way interesting error on this issue as you can see Optimus Prime is reaching for it with his right arm, the Megatron's cannon with his right arm. But he, the, the the whole point of this cannon is that it's now on, because Optimus Prime's right arm got blown off, he's replacing it with that right arm with the cannon. I thought it was pretty funny. You know, Daniel Warren Johnson, the cover artist, didn't get received the proper communication from Daniel Warren Johnson, the writer artist. Again, like, there's a lot to study here. I, I mean, just in terms of, like, action sequences and in a weird way that um and it, it just feels real stakes to it like there's a sequence where carrot where carly is basically thrown off the side of a dam and the way they depict her rescue it's weird because i think um johnson was had fast x in his head while he was writing it and um but um he does a much better version of the ending of fast x uh, and a, a plus, uh, let's see. Um, 
it was just uh just really well thought just he really just thinks about how these things would crash and smash into each other and it feels so much more vibrant even i'm than the transformers comics had felt in a while i mean again there's a lot more of the idw stuff than people want to give credit for because of everything but this just feels vibrant and there's an interesting reveal at the end like uh the reader has been led to believe that the Jimmy that uh, Sparkplug has been mourning died possibly in, in combat, but it seems like maybe something else is going on there. And we get to the end of the issue, and, well, there's another surprise appearance, but I'm not going to give away what it is. I definitely want to say, say, like, I also want to comment, it, It's I, again, this is good stuff, you should read it. It's fun, and I, I want to, you know, I should... I realize I should be pointing out where I'm buying these. I'm buying these from Comic Universe and Folsom PA on McDade Boulevard. That's Comic Universe and Folsom PA on McDade Boulevard. I mean, that's where I've been buying all the issues of the series. I want also want to make some commentary. Like, I think it's like uh, now if we've been reading the Cobra Commander comic and the Duke comic, we know exactly where Megatron's gotten off to or where he is currently stuck. And what's funny was um, I, I joked initially that um, Tim Seeley was killing uh, Bumblebee before it was cool, but something else Tim Seeley did that no other person had did when, when the, during the Transformers Devil's Do crossovers, he was also the first guy to merge uh, Cobra Law with, to, to do Cobra, I think he was the first guy to do Cobra Law in comics and also merge them with the Transformers. So, Seely was the first guy to do Transformers, Cobra Law, and, and G.I. Joe in the same shared universe, and uh, he didn't even get to do a cover. I also want to comment um, on uh, some speculation about the book. The book is... the room. There's rumors that Daniel Warren Johnson is only committed for 12 issues. I mean, it's never been stated how long he's going to stick around. People have said, like, at least two years... He's not drawing the issue, the comic as of issue six, as of issue seven. That's gonna going to uh, anchor named Jorge Corona, and his art looks it looks different, pretty different from um, Johnson, but it also looks pretty good. And but the speculation is he's going to depart as writer with issue twelve, because you know he's fairly successful in his creator owned endeavors, and he probably wants to spend more time doing that, which is totally understandable. It also sucks. If he, decide, if he doesn't decide to say, I really hope that Robert Kirkman has an idea of who he wants to hire to write the tra- the book. Maybe Tim Seeley. Um, but anyway, like, I, I just want to say, like, it, it has been a fun series. Like, I was a little trepidatious at first, but, I mean, I've gotten so much joy out of this. That's, uh, you know, it's just, like, it's just kind of a shame that, like, a Transformers book, a Transformers book is again one of the most vibrant books on the market right now but again if you just want to have fun pick up this book and once again i picked it up at comic universe on mcdade boulevard in Folsom, pennsylvania let's look them up on facebook anyway um i will talk to you guys later and i'll be following up some more reviews soon thanks